Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. This is Camden. Right now, I'm in Vientiane. Some people say Vientiane, Lao. And I'm at my hostel right now at the Mekong Riverside. And today's message is about my first mistake I made on Palfish teaching English online in Lao. So, I wrote down about five things I'm gonna share with you guys really quickly because it's probably gonna take much longer to upload my videos here, but I had a huge, unexpected turn of events yesterday. My flights were canceled without my knowing. I had to buy brand new tickets yesterday. And then I find out that the Thai Embassy here in Laos is closed for the next two days. They're on a holiday, a consular holiday. So on Google, it showed that it was open. And then when I got word that the, the embassy is closed here, I'm gonna go inside actually, it's a bit more quiet. But hey man, got a bed, got everything I need. I'm gonna sit down right here and tell you these five things really quickly. So, as I was saying, had to pay, buy new tickets yesterday and then the embassy's closed. So that means I'm gonna have to basically camp out, hunker down here on Powfish for the next week until I get back to Chiang Mai in Thailand. So I'm keeping the faith, I'm keeping the patience, I'm keeping the strength and the perseverance because everything that happened in the last 36 hours was, as soon as it happened, I said, I knew this is, this is the test from God to see how serious I am about my future with my wife and my dreams, you know, the things I want to do. So this is all just a test. So. The first mistake that I made teaching English online in Lao was number one, I relied on the hotel or hostel Wi-Fi. That's the first thing I gotta tell you guys. Don't rely on the Wi-Fi at your hotel or hostel because I've taught here on two separate occasions and I had no connection issues for many classes, for like 10 classes for the two occasions that I've been here. And then yesterday I taught one, two, three classes and no issues. And then I was on YouTube during my 30 minute break. Everything was cool. I was messaging people on Messenger. Everything was, was up to speed. And then right when I try to get on at the six o'clock class, it's so slow because everybody's on their server. So everybody's on the same server and it's gonna slow up the whole connection speed. So I went in for like one minute, they couldn't hear me. My classes wouldn't even load. And I was like, I was about to go back downstairs and I tried three different passwords and stuff like that to see if it would work. And uh, nothing would work so I ran down the stairs to the person who was working here and then they just we just walked across the street to this little sim card place so lucky that it's literally like five ten meters just across the street across the block and the two ladies in there were very friendly very helpful very quick too. actually I got in and out in less than like five or seven minutes <clears throat> I paid 10,000 kip I should have looked it up to see how much that was before I came in here but anyway, it's like a couple dollars, but 10,000 Lao Kip. You guys can look that up, do a little bit of research on your own. And I got a three day promo, five gigabyte SIM card. Now you can get that at the airport, it might be a little bit more expensive, or you make sure that you get your SIM card. You make sure you get your SIM card, because now, because I came, into the seven, I came in the 17th minute of the class when I came back, when everything was finished downstairs. And number one, you get an absence on your record. You don't want that. Number two, have to fork out $15 for the fee, basically 500 baht, about $15. That's not fun either. It doesn't feel good either. And then you have to do the disservice and inconvenience to the student, and you're not gonna always maybe get a really cool mom and dad they might be really irritated and just cancel all the rest of the bookings that they have with you because they're just not satisfied. And that's happened to me as well. So I was fortunate enough 
because the dad was really cool and the student was really great. You know, when I came back on, she was doing her homework in another t another chair. So that's not great. But anyway, I got it back into the class. I went to the 28th and a half, 29th minute to give myself one minute time to get into the class. The five gigabyte uh, SIM card, I taught the rest of the, the three lessons. And today I have a lot of classes. I open up my schedule big time because I need to make up well, first of all, I'm gonna be here and I'm not gonna just waste my time. The only thing I'm gonna do is basically go to the gym and then come back here and teach. And if I have to buy a couple more SIM cards for a couple bucks, then I'm willing to do that. Because I wanna get my points up back to level five. I need, I need to make up for the income because having to buy brand new tickets yesterday and then, so basically this whole trip is like $600. $600, just Boom, flying out the window. That's hard work, and I don't wanna just kiss that money goodbye. I have to do it so often and so frequent. And that's why I dropped that video yesterday for you guys about the Thai visa guidelines and solutions because, look, once you've done a lot of ED visas, you may not get passed. One of my friends told me that he tried to apply for another self-defense visa. Maybe he's been here two, three years. I'm not, I don't know the whole story, but he wasn't able to do it. So. You know, and then there's on the other side rumors saying that, you know, Thailand immigration policy is going to get more lenient, a little bit on the, I don't want to say softer, but easier for people who want to stay here, stay in Thailand long term. But until that happens, the situation is you have to follow the guidelines for your visas. You have to follow the guidelines. So that's why I'm here. I'm not, I have a ticket to go back on Saturday to Chiang Mai, which is in two days. But since the embassy is closed, I'm gonna stay here. Even the owner was really great, you know, he's gonna put me in a bigger room after my time here on Saturday is finished. But the thing that gets me is I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna give up because I've sacrificed so much time. It's not even about the money because there's you can always make more money, but it's about the time of my life that I have to spend to take care of all these little details, to put everything into process and to make that plan happen and put it into action. That I'm not gonna just wave the white flag and go back. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fight like a dog, you know, I'm not gonna give up. So I'm gonna go to that embassy, hand in all my paperwork, I got everything legit and then come back the next day and I'm gonna have that non-immigrant O visa. That's, that's what my mind is set on, that's what I'm focused on. I hope you guys can say a prayer for me because I really need this O visa and then I can get it into the marriage visa and then I can be in the kingdom for up to one year. Up to one year instead of every 30 days, every 60 days, you know, having to fork out more money and more time. And uh, you know, it's a gamble sometimes when you're teaching English online, you gotta be prepared. That's the biggest thing. You have to be prepared. And sometimes what if the light goes off in the room? You know, there's things like that you have to be, you know, if, if the light goes off in the room, there's an electrical problem, I'm kind of screwed because I didn't bring up like a, bring like a small backup LED light, which I do recommend that you travel with some kind of small LED backup light, put it in your bag, something cheap, something easy, so you have it for emergency, but don't make the mistake of putting yourself into a bad spot with having absences on your record and then having to pay for it and then doing the inconvenience to the student. So, I think I covered everything. Um, yeah, hit everything. So, that's it for right now. I wanna say uh, thank you guys so much and the student will notice that your background might be different. So, be prepared to amp up the lesson and just give it everything you got every single lesson. I was really excited in my lessons last night and I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Step back outside real quick and then I'm gonna end the video probably about the 10th, 10th minute. But it's a real, it's really cold here this morning. The cool season. This is the uh, right in the heart. Right over here is Thailand. Literally on the other side of that river is Thailand. It's the Mekong River. That's a beautiful shot right there, I tell you, with those colors from the temple, from the Wat. W-A-T is how you say Wat. 
but how you say temple in Thai and it's the same in Lao I believe. So you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. I've almost broke $70 a month on this channel. It's a dream come true and I love helping you. I love getting people jobs so that they can earn an income and travel and change their life and turn their career into something that they've always dreamed of. So never quit, never give up on your dreams. I know it may sound cliche, but those are some things and some, some principles that I've lived by and I've gone by and I've meditated on and they've helped me to get here where I am right now. And I'm right on the cusp of closing a huge chapter of my life and opening up a new chapter. And I hope and pray the same for you with the closing of 2018 and the opening of 2019. Get ready, it's gonna be a wonderful new year. And Merry Christmas to you guys out there. Thank you so much.